Hello everybody, Jen Jeff here. Today I'm going to show you something I built on my test world before I show it to everybody in multiple in the uh, walkthrough walkthrough area. I've been, I built this factory here. <clears throat> this thing is my lava derrick. Usually here of oil derricks, but it's easier to find lava than oil, so I'm using oil to power the engines right now. Here's the fuel storage. As you can tell, it's only half finished. It's supposed to be four tanks with four things high to store more, but I don't really need it because this is working perfectly fine. See, this is the fuel system here. And follow the fuel system. Here's the warehouse, which isn't exactly finished either. I didn't have enough resources in the way of cobblestone to finish it, so I just built it without it. It's all open air, which means at night I can't stay here, but oh well. But here's the engine. This is the power plant. And then here is the quarry. I did something different with this, because I heard that there was, that if you didn't, if you kept things pumping through it, into an engine, and it was a dead end, you'd lose the fuel and everything. Even though I don't think that's actually true anymore. What I did is to make sure I didn't lose anything when it got kicked back out of the engine, there's a feedback, and this loops back to the fuel tank in a circle. It fills the fuel tank back in with the, uh, with the excess fuel that I haven't used in the engines at the time, and then these pump it back out back to the engine again in a circle. Or a circuit, or whatever you want to call it. I also did the same thing with the cooling system. Or there's, here's the wa- can't go that way. <clears throat> here's the pump that pulls out the water. It comes up here. And goes to these storage tanks here. These engines pump it back out. Obviously this one here is a cobblestone. Uh, waterproof pipe, and this here is a regular stone waterproof pipe. It goes through here, that way they don't interfere with each other, obviously. It goes through here, the water goes into the engine, and the lava goes into the engine. I have been running these things for about half an hour now, and they have not overheated. Just been running them straight. They haven't had cooling issues, because they've been continuously supplied with coolant, and they haven't had fuel issues, because they're all continuously supplied with fuel. It's actually easier to do this than try to build a system using steam engines, even though these engines are a bit more expensive than the steam engines. I don't think I'm going to be using steam engines anymore, because I no longer actually see a point. Other than being able to use coal, but I don't want to use coal for it. So that's this engine. This could be done better. I could have made this system a little bit better, but it's kind of nice how I can actually jump onto the top of it. But it does the job. And you can actually see how much the fuel consumption is, because you see it's fully charged over there, as charged as it can be. I could probably put some additional engines down there if I had the other two tanks finished, but I never finished them, I'm probably not going to. But you see it's fully charged, and see how far, how, far, uh, how far down it goes with each engine, to the point where there's almost nothing left when it leaves the system to go back to the tank. Water, not as much of an issue. I probably overdid the water coolant system a little bit. Because you can tell those engines aren't even working anymore, really. They're running, but they're not doing any work. And those aren't doing any work over there either because it's fully charged. They can't do anything. But, yep, this goes on continuously. These engines will not overheat. It's actually a very nice system. My next engine will have the fuel tank at the engine, so instead of having to run over there in case to shut the fuel system off, I can run, shut it off from in here, but that'll be the next engine where, I don't know, if there's an actual housing around it, unlike this one, which is just open air. But hey, it works. I'm happy. Later on, I'll show you how to build this thing. Have a good night.